Okay, um, before I begin, I want to respond to the most serious allegation made against me, namely that I am a drug addict. Do not make such disgusting accusations against internet strangers. It's not nice. Don't do that. You can get me, you can get someone in trouble. Stop it. Simon Dan responded to my video on the excuse me. Anyway, Simon Dan responded to my video on the flat earth. So, um, let's take a look at it. Our next hopeful is a YouTuber called Deplorable Minecrafter. He has cleverly named his video in the style of a Star Wars movie. The Earth is Flat Episode 2, Attack of the Curves. I'll get ready to input my rating on IMDB. Let's hope it's better than the previous two videos. Hey, it's me again, and I'm, I'm here to talk to you more about the Flat Earth, but first, let me respond to the objection that, well, the reason the water falls off the BB is because it's so small, it doesn't have any gravity, and it's not pulling itself to the gravity of Earth, or right, it will be blah 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 well, thank you, Mr. Dan, for inquiring after my health. I'm quite fine, actually. But what I was trying to say, I was, you see, mocking the globe heads who think that because the BB is so small, therefore it doesn't have enough gravity to support water, unlike Earth, which will just magically attract the water to itself. That, but thank you. Um, I appreciate that you care about my health. Okay. Okay. Okay, sure, sure, okay, fine. And I'm sure in an, that also an object in motion can stay in motion unless an outside force acts upon it. Sure, okay. Sure, okay, okay. You got me there. Oh, oh no. But anyway. What the bloody hell is this guy on about? Again, I was saying that if you are making this point... And you probably believe in inertia too, and if you believe in something as ridiculous as inertia, there's nothing I can do for you. Something occurred to me, another proof, the flat earth, it's just so obvious. I've never seen the curve. See, it's a geometrical, scientifical fact. Scientifical? What now? Scientifical. That when you stand on a curve, you can... So when you stand on a sphere, you look out, you can see the curve. You look out, there's a curve, and so you know you're on a sphere because you see the curve. I don't see the curve, so there's no curve. If I were on a sphere, I'd be able to see it. We're not standing on a beach ball, buddy. The Earth is big, very big. So big that it's difficult to see a curve at ground level. But... Okay, um... That's ridiculous. Of course we're not on a beach ball. I never said we're on a beach ball. A beach ball would deflate when we stand on it. Which, it occurs to me, why doesn't Earth just collapse on itself? If it's supposed to be a, a ball, why doesn't it collapse on itself? Actually, yeah, that, that's my new question. Why doesn't the Earth collapse on itself if it's just a ball? I mean, when you go down, do you fall off? Like, in Antarctica, why don't they just fall off the bottom? Anyway. Yes, I'd leave that one alone if I were you. In other words, you... In other words, you don't have a response, do you? 
you're, you're going to tell me gravity as if that's a thing. Whatever. Well, Simon Dan was actually very polite. Um, so let's get on to the comments, shall we? Uh, yes, we live on a sphere, more or less. Can you answer these, explain how tides are, oh, I'm not reading all that. Uh, Simon Dan sends his regards, Flathard. Okay. I, I see we're all adults here. Buh, 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 bumbling moron. Stop playing Minecraft and do at least a single research. On the plus side, your channel will up it views with all the publicity of what happens when mental health goes out the window. Get well soon. Thank you. I give your face 1.2 Martin Skrellis worth of punchability. Actually scratch that, I just pray to the lord of Pimp's Cat to bless my smiting hand and slap you like the pompous brat you are. Thank you for praying for me. Perfect example of why we need to limit access to creation sites for the mentally retarded. Looks like you just climbed out of a skip, and from the sounds of it, that skip was filled with brain, brain cell killing drugs. Snop, stop sniffing glue, get a job, get rid of that pathetic tash. Oh. Get a haircut and clean everything mess. Actually, I did get a haircut. As you can see. Not a, a very good one, but I got a haircut. You have never seen the curve, so your logic is that if you can't see it, you don't believe it. Have you ever seen your own, have you seen your own brain? X-rays, you say, all CGI. Um, actually, yes. X-rays are CGI. How do you not know that? John Lee Pettimore III says, can you answer these questions? Explain how tides are supposed to work on a flat earth. Your single hypothetical FE model that explains current observations of reality. What is the ultimate reason behind this multi generational, worldwide, intercultural, alleged conspiracy to hide FE? What is the purpose? Why doesn't God's sky match at all with FE uh, modeling? What causes the solar eclipses in the FE conjecture? How can people in the Southern Hemisphere and Analysis be looking completely different directions yet still be looking at the same sky features? Explain, how, explain the problems with measuring Australia. How can Antarctica be circumnavigated if it is supposed to be a ring? Produce an accurately measured map of Earth that is part of the attempted FE model. Where Venus and Mercury located in the FE model. The sun is only supposed to be a couple of thousand miles away. Clouds, Venus, and Mercury would be between Earth. Uh, and so, where are they? I think Gem Clouds, Moon, Venus, and Mercury in that small space without them seriously disturbing each other. No pun intended, but the ball is in your court now. Hashtag FE is offensive. Okay, found one. He says, Milky Way says, I can't see your leg. Oh, wait, not that one. Sorry. Uh, it says, ABC123, good name, it says, on this flat earth where the sun and the moon are above us, how do you, ex oh, sorry, okay, on this flat earth where the sun and the moon are above us, how do you lot explain a lunar eclipse? Okay, well. A solar eclipse, I'll just explain both, but a solar eclipse is when the moon passes in front of the sun, and a lunar eclipse is when the anti-moon passes in front of the moon. Obviously. Do you have a brain? Um, yes, it keeps my heart cool. Um, well... Marking this one for the NSA watch list, recommending immediate threat diagnosis. I've been found out. 
Hello, it's Abel Noitis again, and I wanted to let you know that